Hey guys, it is the AC Follower here, back once again with another Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag update. Now we've had quite a bit of news in the last couple of days, sorry I haven't made a video, I have been extremely busy with studies and things like that, and I am still busy right now, but I really needed to get this video out, because i had been putting it off a bit too long, um, so I'm just kind of pushing something to the side for now, just to get this video out. I may not do too many of these video updates in the next couple of days, but I will end up putting them all out eventually when I get you know, a spare moment. But we do have a lot of screenshots, of course, Black Flag has officially been announced. You can pre-order it now um, at your local game stores. Um, then there's a lot, a lot of in-game screenshots out as well. Um, a lot with Edward and just seeing the kinds of things he can do with his dual wielding, some naval stuff, as well as just some other locations and things like that. Um, and we've got quite a lot of other details in the game. We have underwater exploration, which has been revealed as well through screenshots and other, you know, Ubisoft talk that you can, you know, investigate shipwrecks and find treasure and other things like that. So I'd assume there'd be sharks involved as well as some other underwater marine wildlife, like there was land wildlife in Assassin's Creed 3. I'm, I'm sure that'll all be a part of the game as well. The game is set, as we know already, there was rumoured in 1715. Um, I'm not sure if the game will begin before that, or it'll begin at that point, but that is around the time frame that the game will take place. We know that Haytham was born in 1725, so the game cannot go any further as Edward, past 1725 anyway. So that's something we do know at least. We know that Blackbeard and other historical pirates will appear in the game, and they want to give us a more realistic look at the pirate's life, not just seen in you know movies and stuff like Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, and we know that Edward's pirate lifestyle will also conflict with his obligations and um, jobs as an assassin. So, you know, being an assassin is all about being selfless, whereas Edward's personality may begin as being a very selfish person, which will give us that almost, a bit, I guess, a bit of Voltaire kind of feel to it. But we know that he's a very charming man, which is kind of that Ezio kind of style. So I like that they're bringing some aspects that we liked and we thought were interesting about the two best characters in the Assassin's Creed franchise, Ezio and Altair. Um, so I'm really glad about that. Some other details we know, there's open world naval exploration with over 50 unique locations. So you'll have your own ship that's upgradable, you can even hire your own crew that can die in battle. I'm sure you can hire more once they die, you can repair the ship and do all kinds of things to it. Um, as well, apparently there's limits to the loading screen time, so you can get in and out of your ship with very little to no loading screen. So you can stop um, driving a ship, jump off into the water and swim to an island to chase a Templar or an enemy. Um, as well, we get to look at some of the cities and kind of the architecture that we'll get to see in the game. So there's lots of things like that. Um, so we have quite a bit of news and that's all I'll say for this video. Though, just so you know, I'll say at the end of this video talking about Desmond, apparently, according to the creative director, Desmond is not the star of this game. He will not appear in this game. You are a man working for Abstergo, and then you find things out about Edward. But I'll talk about that in a later video. But that's it for news, guys. Thanks, guys, heaps for watching this update. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe to help the channel grow, and to get all things Assassin's Creed. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later.